Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us reflect on the fifth Sunday in the ordinary time. The Gospel, Jesus tells us, You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Wait a moment. Isn't it Jesus Christ is the light? And now He says to us, You are the light of the world. We share the life of God. We share the life, the divine life in Jesus Christ. And so now He is trying also to give us the mission that He has to become the light of the world and the salt of the earth. The languages and images about soul and light. The soul, the one that gives taste to food. In the scriptures, so it says, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. So being salt of the earth is a language that tells us to make life worth living. Whatever we do in life that makes life worth living. And so we are being sent into the world as salt of the earth. Be an example to each other to make life worth living. Light. For light, we can say that the image of light is to live the qualities that will make life worth living. So, being light to the world, meaning we have to inspire each other in the qualities that make life worth living. So, we inspire care, we inspire love, we inspire generosity, we inspire righteousness, we inspire all the things and qualities, virtues, that you and I can be, can be encouraged to make life worth living. Jesus Christ not only did miracles, not only did good actions, but also He inspired by His words what to do. And that is why this is, I believe, what we should also do in living our Christian life daily. We use our words to enlighten, to advise, to inspire the good things that we have to live in life, the godly ways that we have to live by in order to, to lift up each other in life. And then also by action, we have to make life worth living. By action, we truly can inspire each other by action, by the good actions that we do. The first reading gives us uh, this teaching to not only care for one's, one's, for one's well-being, but to care for others' well-being generously, lovingly. St. Paul in the second reading gives us his own life story. In his work of evangelization, he didn't use, according to him, a lot of beautiful words. What he was saying is, he made his life becomes the very way of evangelization. His own actions. So that it is the power of God, according to him, that will be seen and not human wisdom. In our daily life as well, first and foremost, we live life to the fullest. We live life, making life worth living by the actions that we do, by the way and the behavior we show to others, by the ways we deal with each other. And then when we can do that, this inspires how to live life to the fullest. And so with the language of light and soul, we are being sent. This is our Christian mission to inspire each other to live a life that is coherent to God's teachings and live a life with virtues and good qualities. And not only that, put that, translate that into action, soul, so that as we act in this goodness, in good, in good ways, so, so, that, so that when we act, 
the good qualities, the virtues that we have. Now, we make life indeed worth living. We make life indeed tasteful. And that happens when you and I, people, truly become salt for the earth. We become agents that makes life worth living, that, that makes us able to live life with joy, with contentment, with satisfaction. May we take to heart the words of God we receive in this fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. And may we all be inspired with these words and go and live our life with our Christian mission to inspire each other to live the good qualities that we have and then become so give taste to life making life worth living God bless in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen